Good afternoon, happy Friday, and welcome to 11 Alive News at 4 o'clock. I'm Faith Jesse. And I'm Jonathan Martin. We are glad you are here. More witnesses taking the stand right now during day two of testimony in the misconduct hearing against Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. That's right. So defense attorneys want her disqualified from prosecuting former President Donald Trump and others accused of election interference in 2020. That's right, and we have team coverage for you tonight. Coming up, our Brittany Klein-Peter examines how this whole display could taint a jury which could later hear the election interference case. But let's start this afternoon with our Grace King. She has been there at the courthouse all day. So Grace, where do things stand right now? Well, for the better part of two hours, attorneys have been battling over whether Terrence Bradley can claim attorney client privilege. Now he's Wade's divorce attorney, but he's also Wade's former law partner. And that's why the defense attorneys want to know what he knows about that Willis Wade relationship. But Bradley has repeatedly refused to answer those questions, saying almost everything he knows comes from his work representing Wade in his divorce case. I did not have knowledge. You did not have knowledge. I did not have personal knowledge. At all, no. So no knowledge outside of what is privileged? That's correct. Now, despite the defense team's um, attempts to try and get around that attorney-client privilege argument, Bradley didn't really give them a clear answer. But here's what we've heard from other people who've testified this week. Robin Yurdy, a former close personal friend of Bonnie Willis, says she believes that the relation that she has no doubt the Willis Wade relationship began in 2019 about two years before Willis chose Wade for that special prosecutor job in November 2021. Now that contradicts what we heard from Willis and Wade. Both of them testified that their romantic relationship began in early 2022 several months after Wade got the job. Today testimony from Willis's dad appeared to support his daughter's timeline. During the time period of 2019 to uh, the end of uh, 2020. Uh, are you aware um, if Miss Willis uh, was dating someone? Yeah, she she did. She had she had a boyfriend when I first got there. And uh, did you meet uh, her boyfriend? Yeah, I met him often. I did not meet Nathan Wade until 2023. Now, just moments ago, Terrence Bradley was excused from the witness stand. The state says they have another witness to call, but they have not yet named that person. We'll, of course, bring you coverage as we learn who that person is and what they have to say. A great timeline and great breakdown, Grace. Thank you so much. Well, the judge has already said he wants to take time to weigh everything that's been presented before issuing a ruling. And as we wait for that decision, 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter is looking at how this testimony this week could impact the potential jury pool in the election interference case if it goes to trial. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. People watching the misconduct hearing unfolding inside the Fulton County Courthouse liken it to a soap opera. You started dating shortly thereafter, correct? That's a lie. That's okay. one of your lies. Okay. I mean, I get, you know, she's trying to defend herself, but there were times where it kind of veered into reality television. While Fulton County District Attorney Fonny Willis did not return to the stand today. Attorney and Emory Law Professor John Acevedo, who's not associated with the case, says the last two days have been an example of gamemanship in defense attorney's attempt to reach potential jurors. So for potential jurors, one thing most individuals don't like is government waste. So the idea that there might have been financial improprieties uh, between the special prosecutor and District Attorney Wade potentially could poison jurors against the District Attorney's office. Coming up at 5, I'll have more on how this testimony could impact other cases that the DA's office is overseeing in Fulton County. Reporting outside the Fulton County Courthouse, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News. All right, our thanks to Brittany for that report. Now, if you missed part of D.A. Willis's testimony, you can find it in its entirety on our 11 Alive Plus streaming app. It's on demand on that front page. Just download the app for free from your Roku, Amazon, or Apple TV streaming device. Then scroll the carousel on the front page of that app to rewatch her statements.